I don't intend to live in the Western cultures anymore. I think like most American chicks are toast. For me personally, I am just like over the Western chicks. Hey guys, John Anthony here. Today we're gonna to be talking about women from around the world. All right, so I've had the opportunity to travel all around the world, live in different cultures, different countries, and seeing the pros and cons of living in each place. Please like the video and subscribe below. Make sure you click the bell button next to subscribe. If you just press subscribe and you don't click the bell button, you're not gonna get updated about my weekly YouTube lives. You're not gonna get updated about my new videos. All right, so kind of going through a brief list of the different cities that I've lived in. This doesn't count cities I've taken vacation or holiday to or traveled to just to visit, but the cities I lived in, I lived in the US, I lived in Philadelphia, I lived in Las Vegas, I lived in Miami, I lived in San Diego, I lived briefly in Los Angeles and San Francisco, uh, I lived in Dallas, I lived in North Carolina near Raleigh, I lived in various cities around New York and also briefly in uh, DC, Toronto and Montreal briefly in Canada, South America I lived in Medellin and Bogota, in the Caribbean I lived in Puerto Rico for about a year, in Asia I lived in China and Beijing, I lived in London and Lisbon, Portugal, and Kiev, Ukraine, Bucharest, Romania, Warsaw, Poland, Amsterdam, and a bunch of other random trips. Those are kind of the main places where I set up base and got to take in the culture. And I've also talked to a lot of other guys that have traveled around the world. I was doing affiliate marketing for a little bit, unrelated to pickup, and I was able to meet guys that were really rich that had traveled the whole world and that were telling me, Here's the big good things about these cultures. Here's the really bad things about these cultures. Here's the best, the best place in the world for women and why. Here's the worst. So I'm gonna kind of cover all that right now. All right, so first up, I will kind of remove Africa from the discussion. I don't know if any of you plan to go there to do pickup. Um, in general, it is fairly poor, fairly dangerous, and I don't know if anybody is going there to meet lots of beautiful women. So we're gonna bypass that one. I've never been there and don't plan on going there. So that covers that. Asia, from my own experience living in Beijing, only 10% of the people speak English. Mandarin is a very, very difficult language to learn. And the same thing goes for other Asian countries as well. You have to pretty much learn the language. The rate of English speaking is very low. Unless you're going to learn that the language, Asia is only good for a holiday or vacation destination. Regarding the women, a lot of the women are very passive, are very shy, are very reserved. My experience in Beijing, what I've heard from other people, the girls are like very kind of passive and shy. I was going on dates and using Google Translate and the, and the girls were saying stuff like Chinese girl not so open and stuff like this and you know they, I asked them how many guys they've been with and usually it was like one or two and it was a boyfriend and the the Asian dudes in general that live in Asia a lot of them are being passive and beta and stuff as well. So there's not a lot of like seduction stuff going on, like alpha behaviors going on. And in places like Japan, the men are working so much and like consumed with like video games and entertainment and all this other shit, they actually run commercials encouraging people to have sex, right? So one of the really rich marketers I know, he places Tokyo in the top five of places to go just because you have an advantage if you are white. So if you are white and watching this, you would have a big advantage there. That's just like a big starving sex culture, right? The, the men, are too busy with work and entertainment and stuff and there's also a lot of passiveness going on so you can go in there as a white alpha confident dominant man and clean up but as for living in places like that you're gonna have to learn the language all right so enough about asia moving into latin america and the latin cultures from everything that i've heard and from my own personal experience latin america at the end of the day is just too dangerous i learned fluent spanish I was almost shot three different times in Puerto Rico. In Colombia, my friends were like drugged and robbed. I had other friends that, that had knives put to their throat. I had another friend that was kidnapped because he spent like a year there. Like basically if you spend enough time, if you spend like a month there, there's like a decent chance you'll get robbed. The police are corrupt. There's all kinds of stuff going on in Mexico and, and uh, Brazil is dangerous as well. I've heard a lot of horror stories. From everything I've heard from a lot of traveler friends that are entrepreneurs and just people in the community that have went to visit these places in South America, the odds of something dangerous happening or just being in dangerous situations is just too high. So like I've personally ruled out South America in terms of doing game. It's even, even to go visit and do trips. Like in Puerto Rico, for instance, I lived there for a year. It was beautiful. I was living right along the beach and there was amazing food and the, the women had nice features and nice asses and stuff like that. There's just shootings and violence on a daily basis because there's so much poverty 
and almost everyone you meet has had personally some kind of violence happen to them or some kind of dangerous stuff happen to them or they know people or that you know there's just so many stories that kind of covers latin america my main focus this video is gonna be western culture and eastern cultures when i talk about western it's america canada new zealand australia western europe and when i talk about eastern culture I'm mostly talking about Eastern Europe. My experience with the Western culture, I'll go into more details, but I've made kind of a comprehensive list. A disclaimer here, this does not apply to every single girl in the Western cultures. This is my own personal experience and what I've seen from talking to countless people that have lived in these Western cultures. Okay, I'm not just talking about America, I'm talking about friends that have told me about all their experiences in Australia that they're from Australia. Canadian friends about all their experiences in Canada versus other parts of the world. Okay, this all ties in in an integrated picture here. Here's what's been found with the Western cultures. The girls are very entitled. They're stuck up. A lot of them are very cunty. A lot of them are very bitchy, out of shape, AKA overweight. They tend to be less educated in general compared to their Eastern European counterparts. Less culture in general, more masculine. Power struggle more often with the guy. They are more self-absorbed. They're less sweet. They're less feminine. They're less elegant. They are more slutty, more disrespectful. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. I'll drill y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't gonna say it no more. And more unloyal in general. Versus what I found in the Eastern European cultures, the women are very feminine, they're very elegant, they're sweet, they're very fit, it's very rare to see, I'm living in Poland right now, it's very rare to see someone that's overweight or out of shape. They're not really whoring out in general. They're more respectful, they're not as much into games, they're not as much into power struggles. They're more genuine, they're more educated, they're more cultured, they're nicer, they're usually unselfish, they're less sexually experienced, okay, because they're not whoring out all over the place. They're more family oriented and usually have better morals in general. All that being said, why is that the case? Okay, if you talk to your grandparents, right, like I'm 35, my grandparents are two generations back, you know, they said like things were much different when we were growing up. What's basically happened is feminism, the modern media, modern music has kind of like swept over Western culture and poisoned it. It's eroded values, it's eroded familial structure, Okay, it's eroded to want to be intellectual and to be cultured. It's kind of flipped gender roles. So the men are being suppressed, pushed into a more beta feminine type role. And the women are now being extremely empowered and extremely entitled. And you have extreme feminism and Me Too and all this stuff that's getting like totally out of control. The men and the women are becoming more and more and more similar. The women are becoming more like men. The men are becoming more like women. It's just totally out of control. Like when you go to Eastern Europe, the chicks are like very, very respectful. You're like the center of their world. They're sweet. They're not being a bitch. They're not like playing a whole bunch of games over text. They're not flaking on dates for the most part. They're just like super cool chicks. They're not on their phone doing like Instagram. Like that's the other thing. Like social media exists in Eastern Europe, obviously. You see it in the very younger generations, like the girls are in their teenagers, teenage age are like starting to do all that shit now. You see that around. When you're on a date, for instance, you, the girl's not just texting the whole time and taking like selfies for Instagram and Snapchat and all that stuff. Whereas in Western cultures, you do see that a lot. Extremely entitled and like always putting up a front. I could just go on and on and on and make this an extremely long video. For me personally, I am just like over the Western chicks in general, okay? It's hard to find like the diamonds in the rough. I think like most American chicks are toast. That's a pretty broad generalization, but I think it holds true, at least for me. Most Canadian chicks are toast, and the same shit is applied in Australia, New Zealand, and Western Europe. It's sad, and, and all that shit that like fucking ruined, it, it didn't just ruin the chicks in, in these Western cultures, it ruined a lot of the dudes too. But this video is about women and our opportunities with women. That's kind of like sweeping now over to Eastern Europe. There's McDonald's popping up all around. When I was living in Ukraine, you're seeing these like fit model looking girls going to McDonald's. You're hearing all this shit in the clubs, like who run the world, girls. In the movies and everything, like, I'm not saying like women are below men or anything like that. This isn't like a misogynistic thing, but, but there used to be like traditional roles throughout history for, for a man and a woman. Like the man was like the, the leader and the, and the provider and all that stuff and he received respect and the man should show the woman respect as well. But things have just gotten totally out of control where the women are just like, walking all over these dudes in the West. The dudes aren't standing up for themselves because they've been pussified. They're fucking cheating on the guys and divorcing them and taking their shit. They're just playing the guys like crazy. I don't intend to live in the Western cultures anymore. Even the Eastern cultures, like some of them are kind of off the list for me. Like Ukraine overall was too prude. I've, I've mentioned that in other videos, like the chicks take one to four dates to close. Sometimes you go on like four dates with a girl and she's not even ready to kiss you yet. A lot of them are being poisoned by massive sex tourism flooding into the country. They're getting tons of attention on social media. The guys are buying them tons of gifts. And so they start expecting this kind of stuff. It's kind of ruining some of the feminine elements 
that they possessed. A bunch of these countries, like for instance Germany and Sweden, these, these countries that have the open borders, they're getting fucking trashed and toast too, right? Sweden has some of the most beautiful girls in the world. They're letting in all these refugees, all these immigrants that are causing havoc, that are raping the women, that are committing crimes. For instance, Poland has closed borders. Say what you will about that, but they don't have problems with immigration and refugees. It's extremely safe here. You know, there isn't like a sex tourism culture here. So I have decided to set up base here. The chicks are just night and day different. Like for those of you that live in the Western cultures that can't relate to this, I highly encourage you to go visit an Eastern European country at least for like a week and just go on some dates, meet the women. You will see like, holy shit, all the bad parts that you don't like about chicks are pretty much wiped off the table. And all the good parts that you like about chicks are like really amped up. People aren't as obsessed with capitalism and with greed and with advancement and stuff like this. It's a lot more of a caring, nurturing culture where people actually care about each other. People actually want to hear about each other's problems. People want to like connect and they're not just wrapped up in this, in this materialistic, self-absorbed race. That pretty much sums up my overview of these countries. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really excited for 2019. Lots of good shit coming and see you on the next video. Thank you.